Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. We went to her house for New Year's Eve. Those that uh, went to our live last night for Christmas Eve. I didn't cook, and I think my cousin Erica. She's uh, where Erica and me live in. Hold on. No, she don't live in Oklahoma. She never did. She we went to. Uh, I don't think you went. She lived in Texas somewhere. But my cousin Erica, she uh, provided me with groceries. And then my sister did. Um, what is that cart? She did some kind of uh, Instacart with her, her and her son. Both her children was doing Instacart all yesterday. But she normally do a lot of big cooking. But we can say this year is hard. And we didn't do no preparation. We didn't. We wasn't breaking the bank for those people out there in, in La La Land for society or the government or whoever. Being, we didn't go do no wild spending like we normally do. And a hint is, uh, we was able to share, if you would tell a lot, we was able to share personal things, life events that happened to a lot of us in our family uh, that really still impact us emotional. Uh, and a, a lot of people is not aware of that sometimes your action does not imp impact the people that you're sexually involved with in a relationship and you break up and you don't get along anymore, don't communicate. They don't understand. I don't think people don't really realize it's not about the baby mama. It's not about the baby daddy or the father, mother, fa the son's father, the mother's father, however you want to classify yourself. They don't tell you how it impacts the whole family. Nobody never talk about that. And I really got on my live when everybody was sharing the experience about my son's father. I've never uh, said anything negative about him, even when he was growing up. It was always positive, no matter how he treated me once I got pregnant. Before then, I was just golden. But it really hit home. I got to watch this because it had a little rot on it. So that's why you see me peeling the red onion. Some people say purple onion because it's like a purple hue. Uh, it really hit home when I realized and felt the emotions of my family and how they felt when I conceived my son or when I was going through the pregnancy with my son. Today, my cousin, she, I'm going to go back to this and I'll get back to that in a minute. Evidently, it was out of collard greens. In our family, we eat collard greens, mustard greens, and turnip greens. We mix them together. Every only reason that we may eat mustard only, and that was the more of a tart kind. Uh, it requires a little bit more seasoning and added stuff to get the tart out of the greens. On time, that's on time if we just if the store don't have it. So it was it was out of collard greens. So it's mustard turnip greens. Mustard has that. Ooh, it, you have to add some seasoning and some meats and flavors to get that little tart out of it. But anyway. I'm, what I'm doing is doing a prep, last minute prep, because at the end of the day, we still have to eat. eat. She had pizza. Pizza, and then yesterday, when we left the business, because uh, we left the business going straight to her home. And and, it, and then yesterday, when we left the business, because uh, we left the business going straight to her home. And, and everything is changing Dallas. Uh, where it used to take 20 minutes to go from south side to north side, it takes anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and a half to get from one side when it only used to take 20 minutes. And that's due to us half to get from one side when it only used to take 20 minutes. And that's due to us being the largest population now because everybody moving from different countries, different states, because Really, the opportunity of being the largest population now, because everybody moving from different countries, different states, because really the opportunity has always been here. I, I don't know why they just decide to shine the line up at on Texas. It is nothing new. The same opportunities was there in the 60s, 70s, and 40s, just like it is in the 80s and 90s and 2000. Now people finally a bell went off in everybody's head, and they moving to Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas, whether they hate us or love us or not. 
Um, at the end of the day, we normally prep all our food the day before or the a week before or we may do it like two days before or the day before or we stay up all night. If we were family, it'd be a, a two day thing and we'd be up all night cleaning, cutting, but basically picking greens. We usually pick greens, but when you have arthritis, sometimes it's best to just use a knife. That's just a shortcut. But anyway, and usually we would have a lot of family gathering. Sometimes we'll go to one main family a house and we'll go all the way to Oklahoma because that's where the, our main base of our family, you know, my mother and father's side. But anyway, last night it was just me, my sister, and my brother and her children, three boys, and my the oldest son's uh, fiance and my son. My grandson wasn't there. I'm missing one grandson because the injustice of the legal system with CPS as well as the state level. Shit happens to people that come from good families, believe it or not. We're not perfect, but we come from a good family for us children and making sure there's no harm or anything done. But if they, the men make up with women that is wild and their family is wild, shit happens. Again, you're controlled. But anyway, and finances play a lot in the legal system, believe it or not. If you ain't got no damn money, stay out of the damn trouble. Because it, the, the system is built to take, take, take finances. I don't care if you're guilty. You can walk away innocent because you got you got a good lawyer and you got money. That's the reality. But basically, our lives was based on real life events. And then we talked a little bit about stuff that really didn't matter. But we were familiar with it because we have been in the legal system and understanding how it works. I've worked there as well as I, my family have been a victim. It's victims in so many ways. And sometimes we... Some have taken life trying to protect and the system turned against us. So we're familiar on things that happen. So a little bit of the Tory Lane came up, but we don't weigh on those sides because we know the how the legal system. We don't jump and say somebody guilty and then especially if you wasn't physically there. They can present all the evidence and they can take they cannot have evidence and still do not know what actually transpired through conversation. They have limited information. Unless you was physically there watching it and hearing it with your eyes. And sometimes it's best not to even sway on either side because something that can appear pure something that can appear a person is guilty and they can be guilty because of their personality or, or their skin color or they can be we're gonna take the skin color away. We can be guilty because they don't like how how we react or they don't like because you're out you outspoken. A lot of times some people are more look like aggressive side and that's just their personality and that can weigh a play a part on how people view you and of course social media impacts the the minds of a lot of people and if they've never been in this situation they don't need to know they don't need to make comments but they make comments that they don't know and there's a lot of people just because they're brown skin they very opinionated about stuff that their family have not even been in that type of environment and if you don't live in the hood and have not experienced it, a lot of times it's just best to say several seats back because you don't know that that environment and why people, no matter how much money they get, you don't know wh where their struggles come from and way that they think about how they think. The mind is a terrible thing. But anyway, on this, on the live, I'm just giving you a little highlights. We talked about different things. We talked about even with my son. He's the only child. His father met him with off the college, but we went we went to the same college. But at the end of the day, just like my ex husband, he came from the same college too. <laughs> you can find a husband in college. If you y'all looking for a husband, you know, young folks, you find you a husband from college. Or you can find him from a regular nine to five. It doesn't make a difference. There's good people everywhere. But anything. Trauma. You never know how people are traumatized until you really have a sit down talk with your family. And a lot of times we don't sit down and talk to our family. We get angry, we let that be. Now me, at that time, I was 25 years old. I'm gonna tell you a short story. I'm not gonna go in detail. But I wasn't aware of what my little sister do. She was in high school at this time. And my son, she had already had a child. It, 16, 17, but somehow I don't even know how she ended up with my son on the city bus. Every 